Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series, me on a server with humans. I joined the server and I was suffocating to death because you spawn in an ocean and I'm guessing it's the same case for every single person because we have floating trees. All I'm saying is that all of them have made boats. There are exploding mm. ores. Aha, good to know. Of course, as you guys already know, I'm great at espionage. Oh, we have tinkers. That's nice. I just wanted to say that we are going to blend in with humans and make them suffer a bit. It has been a while since we have played with tinkers. Uh, how do you work? Ah, okay. Tool station. Then this was stencil table. And I'm assuming you're going to be the part builder? Yes. Okay. I still remember. Ah, someone died. Nice. Actually, Queen is the owner of the server and he is going to stream on the server. So we should try to be polite. A bit. I forgot how to do Minecraft. Uh, we need a pick, right? <laughs> yes, I have a pick. And it's a very good thing that they put a mega torch. Uh, we should probably get an upgrade. Thank you. Someone was not a fan of darkness. Somebody slept. I'm watching you, Queen. Oh, we also have Tinker's Armory. I have no idea what mods we have. It seems we have Agricraft and a lot of facades. That is all we have to know. So we are going to start our community service by chopping down all the trees. An invisible gift, sword of darkness. You know, I was planning to chop down all the trees, but it was taking too much time. I did manage to find one piece of iron. And do we have this recipe? No. Yes, grinding for flint. Yes, we have it. Yeah, I would say this is going to be much easier. You know, if it was just oak, I was fine with it. But these things are tall. What are they? A palm. Okay, this is what we call a fiery entrance. We have resolved a very important issue on this server. There are no more floating trees. Also, if we wait for the server to update and the leaves will be gone because they're not actually there, there are no more trees or saplings or wood. How are you going to make a boat? They are all in a chest and I'm not going to show you the coordinates. So I just visited one of our neighbors and he gave us food. Thank you. Should we burn down his island? A bit. No, we're decent people. We just leave. Also, I kind of want seeds from him for a parrot. Thank you. Be my friend, please. Uh, so how do I pick you up? I don't know. You're on my shoulder. And we go find a home. So apparently the entire world is just a selection of islands and we have to find the one which we like. Oh, and by the way, this was spawn. So they have to swim a lot. I really don't want a jungle. Also, we have to test this. How good is the sword of darkness? Pretty nice. And we do have the morph mod. I'll tell you what, let me find a suitable place and I'll be right back. Also, I don't really like negative coordinates because I get confused. Uh, we go to positive positive. I know, I'm a genius. My instinct is telling me this is going to be a very nice home. I have never lived in a desert and this is a relatively large island. And the best part is our parrot teleported here. So we're going to call this place home. Although there is a bit of a giant flaw, uh, there are not that many trees. Thankfully, we do have a sapling. Okay, I have to be careful. Uh, this is sulfur from nuclear craft. You can't put it in a furnace. I'm just saying it's not the best. Anyways, you guys already know the drill. Let me do some mining and I'll be right back. Also, one of the perks of playing on a server is that there are not that many mobs. Also, I would assume it's not a very bad idea to make an iron pick. You know, just in case we find diamonds. I thought after doing mining, maybe I should go on a very small exploration. And it has paid off. I found a village. And I was really looking for seeds. <laughs> I'm so happy. Also, you should remember this is called a rose, not a puppy. Because this is the original island from Biomes of Plenty. I'm very poor. I'm even going to take the furnaces. It's a shame that they don't seem to have any beds. Maybe in this one. Do you have a bed? No. Is there a bed? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing. Someone is a fan of farming. I'm not going to complain. We take the books. <gasps> food. A lot of food. And I'm assuming by now you get the idea. More food. I cannot believe my eyes. Today is my lucky day. Why am I living in a desert? Look at this place. It's just floating islands. Everywhere. And there's even a horse. I forgot to bring the horse armor. But there are horses. And floating islands. We're gonna live here. Totally not my favorite flower. At all. 
I don't like flowers. The only thing I have to say is that imagine the possibilities. This is amazing. Well, now that we have a decent amount of resources and proper tools, I think it's time to start with making a base. I'm going to make this one on top of this island, and for that I was thinking of getting into Tomecraft. There are a few reasons for that, one of them is, when there is Tomecraft, it's a sin to start with any other mod, apart from Tinkers, cause you know, you need tools. And the second reason is, I kind of need the arcane stone. So we start with the bookshelf, hopefully. Did I get it? Oh yes. The crafting table. And I was thinking the next one is going to be the crucible, but apparently not. You know, in hindsight, I should have gathered some ink. Technically speaking, in order to make arcane stone, I don't really need to do any research. I can just do this. So we had a problem. Uh, we were out of ender pearls, and since we're on a server, we don't find that many endermen. Thankfully, there is a place where we can find endermen. It's kind of occupied, so we have to free it. And don't you worry, this time I'm going to be helpful. Like so. I didn't miss. Purplik has a grappling hook. That's not fair. We sabotage. Although, I'm actually in charge of bottles. We need to take some samples. That's actually a very horrible job. I have to swim in spit. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, the guy is dead. <laughs> We're late. Yes, I have a head. So far, my contribution to the Ender Dragon fight was two deaths and a few bottles. I do understand that it was a relatively long cut from arriving to the island and saying that I want to make a home to killing the Ender Dragon. And yes, I'm sorry. But this is modded 1.12 and I was like, nobody wants to watch me making a smeltery and gathering resources, so we might as well deal with them, as soon as possible. But to get back to our original idea of making a base out of arcane stone, yes, you do not need research in order to make arcane stone, because you can just craft it. But since I wanted to make my base inside this rock over here, yes, you do need a little bit of research in order to get in, for making an arcane levitator. It's a fancy elevator, but it's not very convenient, you can miss. Oh, and by the way, this door is amazing. It's called an arcane door, and you can't break it. I mean, I can open it, I can close it, and I can break it. Other people can't. Because we don't want them to know our secrets, do we? And we're going to ignore the fact that they can just come in through the wall. But anyways, welcome to my humble abode. It's a work in progress, so yes, it does look garbage. But even though it's garbage, we have our basic necessities. We have storage, which is garbage because I'm garbage at inventory management. We have garbage or dabbling. We have garbage mass storage. And we literally have garbage tomcraft because uh, this is a horrible smeltery. But on a positive note, there is a mod which allows you to do this with ingots. And it's amazing. You can just place them down like a stack. It's beautiful. Anyways, as it is our tradition with normal mod packs, we have to take care of our inventory management system. Yes, we do have applied energy sticks in this mod pack, and that would have been a much easier route. But I am going to go with the inventory panel from Ender.io because I love this. This is my favorite block, and there is a big difference between this one and the 1.7 one. First off, it does have remotes, and even some of them work transdimensionally. But secondly, you don't need to connect them to chests. It has its own system. This was available in 1.10, and I had no idea this was upgraded to 1.12. So naturally, since this is Ender.io and we need a lot of Ender pearls and Enderman head, I had to ask the guys, can we go to the end? And this is why we had to go to the end. But first off, we kind of need to take care of power because I had a brilliant idea that I am going to use a solar panel from Galacticraft because it does look cool. And it does. However, there is a sweet spot between looking beautiful and being functional. This looks amazing, but it makes only 27 RF per tick. Well, they are designed to work on space stations and other planets, but on Earth, they're just bad. And 27 RF per tick for a solar panel is really bad because half the time is nighttime. So it's like 13 and a half RF per tick, on average. I have a cache for these things, why are they in chests? You see, I need help with inventory management. I do have a feeling that we are going to need a few machines, one of them is going to be a soul binder and the other one is going to be the slice and splice. And do I have grains of infinity? No. Yes, bedrock. And that was a very stupid move. 
Everything that you have to do on the server has to do something with fire. And I do like that. It's just that not right now, because I don't have any fire protection. Don't you miss the beautiful days of Ender.io where we could just craft a machine chassis and we didn't have to craft 10 million different stuff? Because I kind of do, it's a crazy amount of steps. Oh, I had grains of infinity. <laughs> okay. Oh, I had more. So here is our soul attuned to die, and I have to spend half an hour in order to find the rest of the items. And since we have six dies, we're going to make six chassis. Because in any case, we are going to use them later on. At least, that's what I think. And half of my chest was just full of garbage from nuclear craft. We don't need them. Anyhow, after a bunch of crafting, here is a slice and splice. And if I have not messed up anything, here is a soul binder. And we are kind of poor, so I have to replace my chest and put you here? You will work, right? I have found some capacitors in dungeons and this one seems to be good for slice and splice. Who cares? It's free. The worst part of my life was to find a witch. I had to find a village, hit a villager with lightning, and we have a witch. Very good. We have the sentient ender. Large steel pipe from Industrial Craft 2. Uh -huh. For a very weird reason, I had no idea they have logistics. I had to craft so many items, you have no idea. It was really painful. But we do have our storage system. And I made the big inventory system storage because I could not afford the bigger ones. So from this row of inventory systems that you see over here, we're on the fourth one. Not that bad. And have I mentioned, we have two of them. If I remember from 1.10, they do actually need power in order to run. The problem is that I have absolutely no idea how much power they need. It seems to be like 11 RF per tick or 10. It's not much. Anyways, let us give it a test. Here is our inventory panel. You go over there. And I don't really know, do we need a remote awareness upgrade? Like 1.7, this guy does require nutrient distillation in order to run. So here is a vat. Vat requires water. So here is an ever full urn that should fill it in. Yes, if you have the capacitor. Ah, yes, you do work. Perfect. Oh, but it's incredibly slow. It's like 50 millibuckets. I am trying to just make it run for a while so that I can remove the chest and try to make this place look neat and clean. So this is why I'm kind of in a hurry. No connections. Should you be connected to the guy? Directly? Nope. I have a feeling that instead of an item conduit, you're going to need a data conduit. Yes, this one. If that is the case, this is actually new. Oh, it does work. Nice. So I can put stuff in? Okay, it took me a while to figure it out. Yes, you do need a data conduit to connect the inventory panel to the storage, but you also need an item conduit in order to fill it in. So now if I put the items in, they will go inside our storage. Actually, it does have a decent storage. We have 300 items inside and it's barely moving. Anyways, the rate of return is incredibly slow, so we need some speed upgrades. And I'm assuming if we put it on the inventory panel, I can dump items faster? Yes, very good. Very good. They are a little bit expensive, so maybe later on. But this is so nice, I can get rid of the chests. Well, it does work, but we do have a teeny tiny problem. You might notice that this guy has 3000 items inside, almost. But it's completely full. Do you know why? Because these guys are also limited by item types, like applied energistics. It's actually fine by me, as long as we have like 5 of them, we should be okay for the rest of the game. Another issue that you might notice is that we do have a 9x9, but we don't really want it to look like a cube, so we have to add columns, dents, and I don't know, details. So for the power generation, I was thinking that we put the capacitor banks on the roof. Not like that. Yes, like that. And for generating the actual power, we are going to use V-generators from TomCraft, because they look nice. And if you pay close attention, you can actually see the lightning bolts. Or at least, I think they are called bolts. For the moment, we are going to have 4 of them, that will be 40 RF per tick. Oh my bad, uh, we have 2 more down here, that will be 60 RF per tick. You don't have to say it, I know, this is so much power. I think the storage systems go down there, and we can just put the terminal over here. That's in the center, so it's good. Oh, we have 90 RF per tick. I think they have been buffed. Well, I have cleaned up my room. It's still a work in progress because some of the blocks are extremely expensive. And we are going to replace some of the blocks, but we don't have access to them yet because I need to do more research and we need to get into different mods. The problem is that from the outside, it looks really garbage. So we have to terraform the area. But just a bit, not too much. I do have a few machines over here, but I was thinking now that we have different islands, maybe on each island we can have a different room, so maybe my machine area can be on that island. Between this one and that one, we are going to use a travel anchor, but for the rest we might get creative. Not that much, maybe a viaduct. Or if they are close enough, maybe something from Botania. 
Also, I did something incredibly cheaty and we are not going to talk about it. So this is my vat, which is making me nutrient distillation and it's going directly inside the inventory panel through a conduit. But we have this. We are not going to mention the mod. Ever. Good. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.